SDI and we, uh, air dodge out of it, you know? I'm, I'm just going to say this. So there, there's a certain level where SDIing off the top is actually the worst idea in the world. So the way yeah. it goes is like this. If you SDI down and away, mm -hmm. you get guaranteed damage as Bayonetta. If yeah. you SDI up and behind, you could just die. You could just that, that's that's the biggest thing. Nope. So, But the thing is, is that if you, this, the only thing is it's situational. Because if you hit, like, if you were hit in the Witch Twitch when you're above her, mm -hmm. SDI and out is better. You know, it's all dependent on where you hit. Because if you were hit right next to her when you're like, you know, you're both on the same level, then yeah, SDI and down and away is the better option. There is guaranteed damage, but it's the better option. Yeah. You know, it's all situational. It really is. But the thing, the thing that I've always told myself is, don't put yourself in a situation where you're gonna die. Yeah. Because the reason why Bayos like J.K. Zach, um, Mistake, Lima, the main reason why that they do well is because either they don't really know the wacky setups they're going for mm -hmm. or if somebody told them oh sd up, up and behind them okay. so that way you pop out of the combo but you just die if yeah. you always just down I mean, and you away, always do it like that yeah then it's like sure they know where i'm gonna sdi but i'm not dead i take damage and then i get to that percentage where they can't kill me mm -hmm. so if you just always do that option and you actually have good sdi where like you're far enough where that's all they can get because yeah. if you have good that's sdi it. the best you can do is avoid the afterburner kick and they're forced to just do an aerial yeah. yeah or even if they hit you with the afterburner kick you you di away yeah. so they can't even follow yeah, and off it, it, if they do hit you you're so low that they can't even follow up after that yeah and so it's you know it's it's guaranteed damage as you're saying but it's still, you know, it's choose your poison, and the better poison is obviously the less, you know, yeah. no, not no death, you know, no more da you know, you took more damage, but it's no death. Yeah, and then if you get yourself to that percentage where they can't death combo you, it's like we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. That's that's all you gotta do. And then it's like you'll see people like at like top 32, top 16, top 8 even. It's like they'll see up and behind, like of course you're dead. That's all they look for. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally all they ever look for. Yeah. So you know, uh, Kiki versus Dyer. Do you, they usually play the mirror? Oh, yeah. Well, always mirror. Teacher always. and student. So, Kiki's are basically our, he's our biggest um, success story in terms of, like, going from a bad player to a good one. Because now it's like, you know, he's PR, gets top eight to, like, at most Florida events he goes to. Um, not, like, not really, like, regionals, you can expect to hear him be a top eight, but obviously he didn't get that far at uh, too hot to handle. But... The thing is, like the one that really elevated him, uh, besides Riot, it was Dire. <laughs> oh, Dire basically taught him everything. Right. So you know, like this is a, a mentor versus disciple kind of thing. Yeah. You know, like you know, uh, Dire took uh, Kiki under his wing, and you know, it's great to see uh, the progress of a player. You know, as as he progresses in a year, and, oh, yeah. and, or after months, you see a, a fast progression. And you know, I remember for I think for SmashCon, I remember seeing the pre-tournament. And he was doing really well in that. Oh way. yeah, yeah, no, he did. He took out Wadi. And yeah, I, I, I was yeah. like, I was, I was, because you know, I'm always following the, I was always following the Florida scene. Yeah, he did good at SmashCon too. Yeah. It's just that they, they beat yeah, him the, it was, a, it was a big mess. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that, you can't do that. Yeah, it's you can't so, be taking those really <laughs> unsafe options. Like it, there's unsafe and there's really unsafe. Like it's it's, yeah. it's really bad. So there's one thing I need to point out. So uh, when I drove Dyer to two out to handle, one of the things he he was saying is that. People don't punish platforms correctly. Oh, that's it. You're dead. What? <laughs> Shambles. Yo, yeah, that 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 would make me mad. Actually, like I'm like, oh yeah, you know, the stupid banana yeah. off the ledge killed me. That would make me so mad. That's funny. I kind of saw like Shinji do a similar thing with like uh, Pac-Man's key. Wasn't to a Diddy Kong. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. yeah, I saw the the, the on, tweet. on Twitter. Was a tweet, on yeah. Twitter, yeah. Like, like, oh yeah, this works for many uh, characters, and you see the yeah. the, the key just. <laughs> Whoa, the CSS going back to his roots. Okay. I did not expect this, nor do I really agree with this. But we'll see where it takes him. Uh, like, what can you tell me about the Zeus the Zeus Samus uh, in terms of Diddy? Because I feel like if you're not grabbing, what other options do you have to stop Diddy's offense? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. the way this matchup actually goes is you really hope Diddy Kong messes up. That, yeah. that, it's one of those matchups because, like, ZSS is neutral really isn't too good. I mean, she has quick options with Nair. You have Zare, which is pretty good. You can at least take out Banana with that. And then, of course, you can like try to wall out with back airs. But Ooh. other than that, you really don't have much. But Diddy Kong just has to shit and shield with that Banana, just walk away and just toss it, and then that's kind of it. But, oh, okay. I think I know why he wants Zeus. It's just because he did get the tri-platform. Uh, I mean, if you, if you get a chance and you got the character, why not? Yeah. And... Oh, yeah, 
It's not doing Ooh. too bad, though. Like, uh, one grab, I could see him taking out the stock. Like, the, one of the things that I was worried about when he picked Zeus with Samus is like, well, you know, Diddy Kong's such a short character, and he's, if he just tries those falling up airs, he's not going to get much. So just, it's going to be really hard to clip that character. You know, yeah. you have to use the nares, you know, to do fall, uh, you know, charge the paralyzer. But all that is relatively, you know, nice, nice jabs to, you know, putting the, you know, like I, I, I got quick moves to move around. But as I, what I'm trying to say is, is that a lot of these moves are really hard to hit Diddy Kong. Yeah, no, yeah. they are. Like that, that's always been one of the struggles with ZSS. It's just like short characters, such a pain to deal with. Yeah, like like. You know, Diddy Kong already a character when he crouches shorter even. And then even when he does like a fair, he'll duck under a bunch of things. Yeah, like if you're trying to whip punish a falling fair, oh, he's so, so flat on the ground, it's really yeah. hard to hit. So like really, you know, I can totally see uh, Kiki trying to get a lot of these grabs, but now he, he, he seems he's kind of to abandon it right now because they're not, you know, he's not getting them. So he's doing these aerials with paralyzer shots and, you know, it's, it's, it's sad to say how the momentum shifted that's to it. That's it. just that's Dyer it. <laughs> running, run him over, but that's how it is, you know. Like that's how the matchup is played. You know, if the if Dyer wasn't making the mistakes, if he wasn't getting the grabs, that's how this is how the matchup looks. You yeah. know, it looks very one-sided. The only, you know, like as you were saying, the only way it can make it look like a really explosive, even matchup, very volatile, if it was Dyer making mistakes, you know, overcommitting. Yeah. Or jumping in the wrong place and landing wrong. Yeah, no, that's that's always just gonna be out again. I mean, the other thing too is that by watching, you can definitely tell that Kiki's ESS was out, like out of practice. He just threw out grabs and just in uh, in areas and times where it literally made no sense to throw it out there. Like you were just going for the biggest hail mary, and yeah. you got punished accordingly to yeah. it. Like you know, like if you're just doing like a falling paralyzer, like you know, the, you know, there's there's the things that you can tr try to do to mix it up. You know, the wave bounces. Yeah. You know the Using the the Zare to you know kind of mix Zare, up what yeah. you're using in the air as you're landing, but even then you know such a short character, do you have your your options keep you know you keep dwindling? They keep you keep losing losing options. Yeah, yeah you definitely do.